It gives me great pleasure to introduce this book on Oracle Fusion Financials. This book lets you set up Fusion General Ledger, Fusion Accounts Payable, Accounts Receivable, Fixed Assets and Cash Management. It also introduces you some Fusion tools like Hyperion Reporting Studio, Hyperion Smart View, Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence, ADF Desktop Integrator and File Based Data Input. This is going to be a step-by-step -step visual guide for you to set up your Fusion instance. You can just keep this book with you and sequentially go on setting up Fusion as per the steps and visual snaps given in the book. So this is a page browse of the book and the remaining video is going to explain to you the structure of the book and how each setup activity has been explained in details in the book. Continue watching the video. Setting up Oracle Fusion Financials and Fusion Tools this is a new book on Oracle Fusion Financials that gives you step-by-step -step instructions on how you can create your enterprise structure from scratch for financial. It includes setups of general ledger, accounts payable, accounts receivable, fixed assets and cash management. It also gives you introduction of some Fusion tools like Hyperion Reporting Studio, Hyperion Smart View for Office, Oracle Transaction Business Intelligence, file-based data import, ADF desktop integrator. Now let us see with some examples how the book is structured. Let us start with a very simple example of chart of accounts. If you want to define a chart of accounts, the steps you need to follow are listed in the book. For example, to create a chart of account, a simple chart of account is listed in the book and that chart of accounts is defined with various steps needed to perform. The first step you need to do is to manage chart of accounts value sets task that needs to be accessed. You have to go to the task by clicking on the task icon. Once you click on the icon, it will open a page for you from where you will be able to add or create a new value set. When you create a new value set, you will have to enter the name of the value set description and other attributes like validation type, value data type, etc. Once you are done with that, you have to proceed to create another value set and you will have to create all the value sets required for the structure. Once the value sets are ready, you will have to define the chart of account structure by going to the manage chart of account structure task. The task will open a page where you can click on the manage structures button that will take you to a page where you can create a chart of accounts. On a structure page, you will be able to give the name of a structure and be able to save the header definition. To add to the segments, you will have to click on the plus icon and add respective segments with their segment labels as let us say primary balancing segment, then the cost center segment and the natural account segment. Once you are done with it, your structure is ready and you can create the chart of accounts structure instances. To create the instances, you will have to click on the manage structure instances button that will take you to a page where you can click on the plus icon to add a new instance. Select the structure for which you want to create an instance that will automatically show you the segments. For each segment, you will be able to set up the required default value for that instance. Once you have done it for all the segments, your instance is ready. Then you can deploy the flex field by clicking on the deploy flex field button and then your chart of accounts is ready for use. Now let us take another example in another model. Let us say creating suppliers within accounts payable. To create a supplier in accounts payable, you have to first navigate to the suppliers menu within navigator. Once you are on the suppliers page, you will be able to click on the create supplier menu, give basic information about the supplier, click on the create button. Then create addresses of the supplier in the addresses tab. 
then create sites of the supplier by accessing the supplier sites tab and clicking on plus icon as shown in the book. The process will allow you to complete the definition of the supplier and also the supplier site assignments to business units. While you define the suppliers, there are some prerequisites. They are also narrated within the book as you cannot define a supplier unless you have created a procurement agent. To create a procurement agent, follow the steps given on Manage Procurement Agent page of the book. Let us see one more example in Assets. How would you run depreciation in Fusion for Assets module? To run depreciation, you have to first access the Asset Accounting Dashboard through the Navigator. Then you have to click on the Calculate Depreciation menu. Access the first process within depreciation, which is Calculate Depreciation process. Give the parameters like the name of the book, period name and whether you want to close the period. Then access the second process, Journal Entry Reserve. Give the respective parameters, then click on the Submit button. That will run the processes necessary to calculate the depreciation. Once the depreciation is completed, you can run Create Accounting to calculate the accounting for the assets. To run Create Accounting, you will have to navigate to the Create Accounting menu and then give respective parameters to run that process. Once that process has run successfully, you can see View Accounting, the SLA journals through the Review Journal Entries page of Fusion Trainer. Now let us see how the fusion tools are documented in the book. As I said earlier, there are five tools documented in the book, which is Hyperion Reporting Studio, Smart View, OTBI, FBDI, and ADFDI. For each of these tools, there are instructions of how to download and install the tool, how to set up the tool, how to do related setups in Excel if required or in Fusion as required, and then one example for each tool has been taken to demonstrate how to create a report in Hyperion Reporting Studio or how to create an analysis in Smart View or how to create an analysis in OTBI and doing an import, one sample import in FBDI and one sample import in ADFDI. Let us take an example of Smart View. Let us navigate to the smart view details within the book. The first, you have to download and install smart view. To download and install smart view, you should first be ready with Firefox browser with remote XUL manager. You have to navigate to financial reporting center from the navigator. From there, you have to open workspace for financial reports. You will typically get an error message like remote XUL manager add-on for Mozilla is not configured. So you have to install the remote XUL manager. Once you have installed the remote XUL manager, you will have to configure the XUL manager by the steps given in the book. Once you have added the necessary configuration for the remote XUL manager, you will be able to download and install Smart View by accessing the open workspace for financial report link. Then you have to go to tools install smart view which will download the smart view from the server. Once the file is downloaded you can open and install smart view by running it as an administrator. Then you will have to configure the spreadsheet for running with the smart view. Once you have configured the Excel spreadsheet, you will be able to log into Smart View through Spreadsheet. Once you log into Smart View through a spreadsheet, you will see a Smart View tab from where you will have to go to Panel and access one of the links that will open an ad hoc report for a database for the chart of accounts. Then you will be able to create a pivot table like report by dragging and dropping 
objects from the point of view to the excel view which is explained in the book once you are done the layout of your report you will be able to see the report in the smart view like this so this is how one sample report has been shown right from the installation stage to the configuration actual layout of the report running the report and getting output of the report now let us see another tool for an import for example fbdi which is file based data import allows you to import data into various entities like segment values or customer invoices or supplier invoices etc first you have to log into oracle enterprise repository download the necessary template the instructions are given you have to note the ucm account once the template is downloaded as per the instructions given here you can go to excel do the necessary setups in excel and open the template the template instructions are given within the template itself if there are any prerequisites you need to make sure that those prerequisites are met before using the template for an upload then you have to prepare your values within the template for upload then you can validate the values through an inbuilt macro provided within the template you can generate a csv file from the template itself the generated csv file can then be uploaded into ucm which is universal content manager then there are steps to move the data from universal content manager to the interface table and there are steps that you can follow to move the data from interface table to the base tables and finally once you have uploaded the data with this process you will be able to see the data in fusion as this value set ibm account these values are uploaded with the use of tool fbdi which is file based data import briefly that is the structure of this book and it contains as i said earlier all the setups of general ledger accounts payable accounts receivable fixed assets and cash management and also introduction to tools like hyperion reporting studio hyperion smart view oracle transaction business intelligence file based data import and adf desktop integrator for more information about the book you can go to a link facebook.com slash r12 financials book set the collaterals of this fusion book are hosted in this facebook page thank you bye bye